Hi, this is John of Trish and John's Gardening Channel. Today is March 8th, and we wanted to give you a quick update on our uh, pepper series. A couple things here, if you remember our last video, we actually had four styrofoam spacers here. Uh, we're down to two now. Uh, we've been lowering the plants. We did that because uh, the second thing you'll notice is the dome that we had around these plants. We've actually eliminated the dome and we put the plants directly under the lights. A little bit of the hardening off process, if you will. I want to get these plants used to being outside, you know, from underneath the dome. So again, we've got our two foam spacers. We've got our heating pad, which we, we maintain there. And, you know, I use some of these small pieces of foam to, um, you know, prop up the smaller plants. We've had a couple plants that are a little bit uh, lagging. We had to reseed some of the uh, plants that did not propagate along with the the original batch so for instance this plant here is a little bit further behind so in order to keep them as close to the lights as possible we just use these styrofoam spacers the leftover pieces to get them higher uh, you know closer to the light as you can see the other plant there in the back uh, we're getting them as close to the light as we can uh, just by sitting on the heating pad so the fact that they're not under the dome I did take the pieces of styrofoam here that, that we used to have underneath here. Again, we had four spacers. We took them and I just used them as a little bit of a buffer to um, keep the, the heat in to this area as, as much as possible. But again, trying to harden these off uh, in the first step towards getting them out from under this light and, and under the next T5 lamps. We'll show you that in the next video. But um, uh, we're getting close to actually moving these plants uh, from what you see here. So if I remove this, Okay, I just wanted to show you that we put these plants right up under the light. I mean, as close as, almost touching this lights. Now, that's going to depend on what kind of light source you're using. Now, we're using these fluorescent lights, which don't give off a lot of heat. So, you can get pretty darn close to, you know, light source without actually injuring the plant. So, uh, let me uh, stop the video here. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the you know, level of soil in the uh, air pruning method that we've been using here, okay? Okay, so we've lifted the uh, the light source. We got that up a little bit, and I just wanted to show you kind of where we are with some of these plants. Uh, the first three that you see there, uh, those are the Chinese five color peppers. Kind of interesting, I've never grown these before, but one of the things I'm noticing here that the leaves, uh, as well as the stems, are getting a very dark, kind of a purpley color and kind of interesting you can see that clearly hopefully you can see that on a video but the the three here are are the chinese five color and very different than the other plants that we're growing can again very interesting i'm, I'm excited to see how these work out uh, the next three there uh, kind of you've seen a shot those are the red mini uh, bell peppers uh they're growing quite well this one a little bit a little bit funky i think he'll do okay um, but the other two, you know, look look quite well. Uh, and again, we're going to be potting these up in another two weeks or so. And we'll talk about that in, you know, the upcoming videos. The next two, I've actually had three. I brought one upstairs. We've got a new light source. I'm going to be talking about that in the next video. But, you know, this is, uh, it, both are Anaheim peppers. Uh, those are hot peppers. You can see this one here was uh, lagging behind, obviously. This pot did not propagate, so... About uh, a week and a half or so ago, I did put in new seeds. So this one, a little bit further behind, you can tell that's why we put this one up on a spacer, uh, these spacers, so we can get it closer to the light source, kind of at the same level here. But again, those are two Anaheims. Now, I wanted to point out a couple things here. Uh, number one, when, when we plant the, the seeds, I'll try and cut in a picture when we first propagated these. Uh, we, we put the soil at about two-thirds level. This one's this one I've added a little bit of soil since then. But as the plant grows, I add soil. Okay, so if you, you know, for instance, if you look at this guy or any of these other plants, okay, um, I've added soil up to the point where nearly full. You know, that's about it for this pot. So, you know, doing that purposefully, we do that with peppers. We do that certainly with, with tomatoes. And when I repot this, and again, we'll probably be in another week or maybe two. And when I repot this, I'm going to I'm going to plant that right up to the base of the cotyledons, which are the first two uh, leaves that come out. Um, those are not the true leaves. The first true leaves are, are here. Um, it's actually we're going, working on our second set of true leaves. But, you know, again, we, we continue to bury the base of the plant 
and you know slowly I do that over a three week period now you know every other day I'll add a little bit of soil and just as the plant grows I'll, I'll fill in the base now what that does is it gets a nice root system growing uh, we got side shoot roots that'll grow off the the main stem here as long as you bury it and that works quite well with uh, with peppers and, as well as tomatoes so you'll be seeing that in, in again in an upcoming episode okay so besides the fact that the, you know we filled the dirt up and we're, we're trying to get a good base on a plant the other thing I wanted to highlight for you is the pots that we're using and uh, we're purposefully using these type pots these are um, normally um, hydroponic pots uh, they, they normally fill these up with with a um, non-soil medium and, and grow hydroponically but we want to use these pots to use an air pruning method on these peppers we're going to do the same thing with our tomatoes we're going to probably reuse these pots actually but um, what you don't see here is you don't see any evidence of root uh, actually any evidence of roots or root bounds you know typically if this was a solid pot let's say in a dixie cup a lot of people use dixie cups solo cups the roots will hit the sides and they'll tend to swirl around on the bottom and you get a, a large uh, or clump of roots in the bottom uh, generally some of the you know the main main roots and then uh, they get root bound so what we're trying to do is avoid that so as the roots hit the edge of the um, the pot here and they get into the air they naturally uh, prune themselves they stop growing but what happens is uh, which is beneficial um, that root actually sends off side shoots and uh, this th what we're looking for is a root ball that let's say completely fills the soil area you know you don't want one tap root and just kind of spinning around the bottom of the pot you want to get a root ball you want to get as many small fine offshoots of the, of the roots as you can so by using this technique by using the air pruning method um, you're going to get that so what we're going to do here is when we pot these up, I'm probably going to use a larger size uh, of these pots, the same type of pots, just larger uh, for all of these. And then I'll, I'll probably reuse, like I said, these pots for the tomatoes. I'm going to get more, obviously, I'm going to have a bit more tomatoes than what you see here in the peppers. But again, that's about it for this week. Just wanted to, again, give you an update. Uh, things are looking pretty good. We're going to take these upstairs probably in the next day or so and put them under a different light source. As you can see, they're, they're, they're well on their way to uh, making it. I mean, they're, they're well past the baby stage. So we're going to go ahead and probably repot these and get them under a, a different light source that we just acquired um, yesterday, actually. So, you know, anxious to kind of show you guys that, but uh, we'll do that in the next video. So anyways, that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and, uh, you know, hopefully you continue to watch this series and we're going to take this all the way through, you know, getting these peppers from seeds up into the garden and uh, together we'll see how these make out. These again are new types, different varieties for us. We've never grown these before. So, so far so good. I think they look pretty, pretty good here. So I'm pretty excited about getting these out in the garden, but that won't be for Unfortunately, it won't be for several weeks now. So we're just going to keep these in the house and get them as as big and healthy as possible before before we get them outside. Anyways, um, that's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends or hit like or subscribe to our channel. Uh, that would be uh, that would be fantastic. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, have a good day. Thanks.